Hello guys, welcome back to Batman Arkham Knight. So, we're back. Right where we left off. I want to make sure invite inverted flight controls are normal, okay. Uh, inverted battering. Yeah, I think that's fine. Alright, we're good. We're good. So last time we left off, we were gonna go find Riddler. She's a little slow. Alright, so we got the Afterburners, which is uh, a special fancy word for turbo. Oh, there we are. Alright, so <clears throat> we're going to do Riddler's first ever mission. And what's weird in this game is if you played the previous Batman Arkham games, most of the Riddler challenges were like solving riddles and puzzles and all that and Batman was pretty much on the ground most of the time but with the inclusion of the Batmobile and how mo mobile it is and you can shoot things and you can drive up walls and drive upside down and you have a winch uh, most of the Riddler challenges are gonna be kinda like races and in my opinion and this is just my personal opinion. I didn't like any of the Riddler challenges that required you to drive your Batmobile and, you know, race against time and all that stuff. I actually liked doing actual puzzles, but, hey, I'm not the one who made the game. <clears throat> so. In a moment, I will give you the decrypted code, Dark Knight. Oh, but first, I think we should run through the ground rules for tonight's festivities. Rule the first. You will address me at all times as Riddler, the Riddler, or <laughs> Mr. Mr. Nigma. Otherwise, detective, I expect your patented <clears throat> brand of churlish silence. Rule the second. All gauntlets, cowl integrated microphones, and other communications devices are to be switched off prior to start the test. Are to be switched off prior to the start of the test. Should you be caught using any of these, you will be expelled <clears throat> from the court. Spell. Rule the third. The use of purpose-built riddle-solving equipment is strictly prohibited. I am familiar with the concept <laughs> of your utility belt, detective. I don't think he knows we hacked his fucking code. Any sudden additions over the course of this evening <laughs> most <laughs> What? What? How did you... How did you solve tonight's very first riddle? <laughs> well done. Well done. Open the damn gate. Welcome to my racetrack, detective. <clears throat> you must complete three circuits of this gauntlet, finishing each before the time limit expires. Fires. Fires. Actually, I want, hold on. I want to. Sorry, sorry, guys. I want to see something. Apparently, I'm, I was gonna do this before, but they give you gave, they gave you something where you can change your camera speed. Is that not a thing? Did they not add that yet? Are you serious? It's game. It's not gamepad controls. Keyboard. No. Like, you can't change your movement speed. It's, I mean, your camera speed. The hell. Jesus. Come now, detective. Let's put that grotesque ego mobile to the test. Alright, so. Ready, Dark Knight, Dark Knight. You control the Riddler's block blockades by pressing B. And. Uh, you're gonna need to do that for most of this uh, course. I think most of the Riddler stuff you have to control. So, um, use your afterburners. Yeah, your afterburner bars on the left, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> holy shit, that was so close. This is the hard. This is probably the hardest part. You have to drive up the wall. Okay, so your afterburners are on the left. Um, use that sparingly. Well, not sparingly. Use it whenever the hell you want to boost your, your time. Alright, so we have one minute. Go! If you, I, I think if you run into the walls like this. Oh. If you run into the walls, like these little panels that you can control with your little thing, you actually explode. So, you want to be sure that you're using the... Uh, Riddler stings appropriately. Oh my god, what the hell? Let's work that 
Okay. Brain of yours. Do we have less time now that I'm playing on hard? I only have 30 seconds. Why do I feel like we have less time? That was nice. Alright. We have 13 seconds left. Holy shit. That was quick. Now pay attention, detective. Go left. Got him. Okay. Why is he giving me hints? Sh shouldn't he be shouldn't he want me to fail? Ah! <laughs> You're close, detective. All right. Don't fumble now. Make sure you don't get. Make sure you don't take up one of those panels or switch them on when they're riding under them, because you will kill yourself. Up oh! like that. I did that. I did that wrong. There you go. Dark Knight, don't waste my and with 10 time. seconds to spare, woo! Mental block. Complete a single lap of Riddler's Fiendish Court Force on the hardest configuration. You could do this for a uh, another Wayne point. I think I'm gonna try it. Um, I didn't even look through the upgrades. I'm sorry, guys. Oops. So you want to press backspace and go here and see Wayne Tech screen. Use the Wayne Tech screen to view your moves list or when earning a Wayne Tech upgrade point. Progress in the most wanted uh, mission or fill the XP bar to upgrade the bat suit, Batmobile, and gain enhanced skills. Hunting down the various super villains in Gotham is the fastest way to earn upgrades. So usually, what I like to get first is the uh, combo starter, which is I think. Um, can we get it yet? Where's it under? Did this special combo? Hmm. This is this is a thing. Oh, it's over here. Okay, so uh, after achieving a combo of five, you can use your special combos. At right now, you can only use them at at five, uh, eight. So let's get it. Why not? Uh, so let's buy the bat mo the batarang special combo, and then after that, we'll get this. And then we can start using special combos even earlier. Which is helpful for taking out, like, you know, the big dudes, and you can use your instant takedown combos and whatnot. Uh, if you want to see the move list, there's a whole move list here. You have combat, traversal, predator, batmobile, etc. Um, the one I'm talking about is. Is it this one? No, that's interrogates. Batman Claw. No, not that one. Uh, ground takedown. That's not that one. It's like B and, B and Y at the same time. Is that here? B and Y? I want to show you. I want to show you guys this because this is a good way to take down enemies without having to worry about. Um, oh, it's right here. Special combo takedown. Immediately incapacitate enemies in a single move. So when you have eight times, you want to be using special combo takedowns. Uh, it takes out an enemy unless there's a medic that can revive them. So I, I like to save up my special combos for medics or anyone with a baton or a shield or the big dudes later on. So you want to be familiar with B and Y your special combo takedown. Anyways, let's do this. This this, this challenge is pretty easy. Uh, let's just let's just do it. We get an extra point if we complete it, so I'm pretty confident. <clears throat> pretty confident in completing this. Had to had to get there in 52 seconds or 42 seconds. Excuse me. Okay. Easy enough. Make sure I'm not flying off the damn screen. Oh, that's pretty close. Oh god. I can't mess up here. Oh. So close. So close. Let's try one more time. I I should I should I need to boost at the very beginning. I need to boost at the very very beginning. Ah, oh, did I not start it again? Oh, sorry. Let's try one more time. Okay. Well, that's a horrible way to start. 
That's a terrible way to start. <clears throat> Me being a perfectionist, I need. I want. I want to get this. Okay, that was a good boost. Open this. Let's boost to this. Okay, I lost. I lost time here. Because I was a scrub. Oh no. That's hurt. That hurts. I can't do it now. Oh! I did it! Oh my god! Point zero one of a second! Holy shit, that's clutch. Holy shit, that's clutch. Oh my god. Did I do it? Did I get a win point? I did! Oh my god. That's so clutch. <laughs> 41.99. That's the closest. That's a close call. Holy crap. That's amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Excuse my language. Oh my god. Can we can I go in or what? What's going on? There you go. Wow. Point zero one and I would have missed that. Really believe that a challenge designed by me, the Riddler, would be quite so easy. Oh, dark night. You sweet, naive sentinel. Of course it wouldn't. Still, thanks to your unrelenting desire to showboat, I now have several hundred terabytes <clears> of <throat> performance data relating to that latest model of rocket powered hearse you're driving. Naturally, I shall be using this data to calibrate further challenges and trials. I'll see you soon, Detective. There's a lot more to come. <clears throat> Shut up, Riddler. I just beat your damn challenge with point one of a second left. Whew. That was crazy. That was an adrenaline rush if I've ever had any. Alright, so let's go, uh, let's go do the main story. Uh, I don't care for Riddler at the moment. I'm heading to the clock tower to see <clears throat> what Oracle's found on the scarecrow's toxin. Get off the street! Get off the damn street! <laughs> this is my town! <clears throat> Get off the road! This is my town! That's your fault. You, you walked into yo. You walked in front of my my Batmobile. Can't blame me for that. <clears throat> I heard Riddler's got something real special planned. Can I not launch? Oh, I guess not. You can usually launch out of your vehicle. I saw a bunch of Penguin and Harvey's boys working together. I'm telling you, the sound of the apocalypse. No, how do you launch? How do you launch? Excuse me, while I forget how to do things. Do I not have? Oh, we don't have it yet. No, we do. Hold A. No, it's called Batmobile. Do we not have? I guess we haven't locked it yet. Wow. You can launch out of your Batmobile. I guess we don't have that yet. So whatever. Let's just get out. <clears throat> Cool. Toggle detective mode. I think we have to turn on yeah this retinal. <clears throat> Scan me. Alright. Use a computer. And I think we have to do some some surveillance here. Which is pretty cool. Rewind time. Do I come in the back cave? Start messing with all your stuff? You've managed to reduce the compound to its core elements. 
But there's nothing in there that we can trace. What if we'd been looking at this the wrong way? Instead of searching for the toxin, what if we focus on the manufacturing process? Why didn't I see this? The reaction emits a unique radiation spike. Run a scan of the city for this energy signature. It'll show where Scarecrow is creating a sphere toxin. It'll take a few hours to bring the satellites into position. We don't have enough time. I'll repurpose the antenna at the movie studios. Bruce, I spoke to Dad. I hate lying to him. He'd kill me if he knew I was still in the city. He still blames himself for this. We'll stop, Scarecrow. Okay. So, Oracle's here. Use a Panessa Studios antenna to pinpoint Scarecrow's location. Alright, let's get out of here. So, if you didn't know, uh, Oracle was Batman's uh, partner Jim, before all this. Jim, a way to find out where Crane's working <clears> from. <throat> Thank God. What can I do? Get your men ready. As soon as we've got a location, I'll let you know. Alright. And when I say partner, I mean, like, hold right trigger to, while dive off ledge while running. Uh, when I say partner, I mean she was Batgirl until she lost her I ability to walk. So, my kid, I was pretty cool. Do you know? Whee! Pull up. That's so sick. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I want to be. Can I just be Batman? Like, I want to be Batman. It's so bad. The country watches. Shut up, Scarecrow. The only one getting a show here is you. I'm gonna show you my ass. <laughs> Panessa Film Studios. My favorite. I love film. Let's go up here. Is there a sniper up here? No? Enemies? Is there, no, there's no enemies? Oh, I thought there was enemies. That's why I came up here. Oh, okay. I thought there was enemies. That's why I came up here. Oh, there might be some down here, actually. Is there? Oh no, it's clear. That's weird. Okay. Oh, he's got to access the device. Okay, we're, I don't think we're going. I don't think we're actually going into the movie studios. Not yet, at least. That gnarly ass texture, though. I will say that the PC port for this game is pretty bad, but it's doable in the fact that you can play the game and beat it. But the textures are pretty Is bad. The power winch ready for deployment? <clears throat> it's one hundred percent functional. Though no guarantees if you're intending to pull that car of yours up the side of a building. You read my mind. It's in the job description, Mr. Wayne. Batwing's on its <clears throat> way. Collect the power winch for the Batmobile. Okay. Um, I could turn on the settings and and see if it's faster, but I gotta restart the game. So I think for today I'm just gonna record normally, you know, keep the settings off. I do want to show you guys the, like the fog and the enhanced rain and all that, but if I turn that on, the game dips pretty hard. And I have 980 SLIs, and that shouldn't be happening. But as I said, this game, the port for this game was not very well done. So. <clears throat> And to be honest, I want I wanted to wait for this game to be updated, but they said it won't be updated until like December or sometime in the fall. Um, and I'm not gonna wait that long to record this walkthrough, especially because there's a lot of games coming out in November that I want to be focusing on, like Halo and all that other stuff, like Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid Five, and you know, the game's out, it's playable, I beat it. Why not record? So we got the power winch. Pulls down the obstacles and moves heavy obstructions, delivers high powered AC electrical energy. Cause I know what that means. <laughs> How do you plan on getting the car onto the roof? <clears throat> I'll improvise. You let me worry about that. It's a secure anchor point to function. Once it's attached, just hit reverse. You let me worry about that. Thank you, Lucius. I always, I want, I always forgot when I played the game. I wanted to look 
at who the voice actor was for um who the voice actor was for um Lucius Fox? He sounds familiar. If someone could tell me, that'd be nice. Oh fuck. Well, I messed that up. God damn it. I messed that up really bad. Are you were you not supposed to jump this? I'm pretty sure you were. Oh, I didn't use my afterburners. Really? Why does the ramp seem like it's not high enough? Alright. Oh my god. Really? How's how? How do I not make this? Why is this why is a Batmobile so slippery? It should be like heavy as hell. Right? I can't believe I'm failing this. There we go. Jesus. <clears throat> All right. Use a Batmobile to uh, Batmobile to navigate tight areas. Hey yo, that's what she said. I think. She says that. That's weird. That means she's a bad girl. And she also is a super villain or superhero. And anyways. Uh, what do we gotta do? Go here. Go here. What we have to do here is jump off, and then go up the side of the building, like so. And then we can go uh, this way. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. So we go here. We use a power winch, and we use the uh, acceleration. You gotta keep the needle in between the orange. And bam! <coughs> Radio Tower is back online. Ain't that sweet? Sweet! That's pretty cool. Oracle, I've restored power to the radio antenna. Great. I'm connecting <coughs> now. I was just talking to Robin. I think you should too. Bruce, you need me out there. We can find Scarecrow faster together. What you're working on is more important, Tim. Can wait one night. Let me help. I've got this under control. Robin. <sighs> okay. Listen, try checking in once in a while. We're partners, remember? He just wants to help, you know. Is the antenna ready? Yeah. But we're going to need a microwave tower to triangulate Scarecrow's location. There's one at Falcone shipping in the cauldron. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Oracle. Thanks, baby. Robin! All right. So I just leave my car here. <laughs> Alright, I guess. Just leave the car here. I don't need it. Run and transition directly into a dive off or rooftop. Did I not do this? There you go. <clears throat> Alright, so let's make our way to Falcone... Whatever. Chipping Yard? I think that's called. So we can, uh... Investigate. Falcone... Oh, it's called the Cauldron. Falcone Shipping. Is there... Is there a... Oh, there's an interrogation guy down here. You hear about Riddler? He's gone crazy. Let's get his ass. Unusual, anyway. <clears throat> oh, he's running away. Do I really want to fight these dudes? Kinda. Fuck it, let's go. Whee! Oh, Batman, what are you doing? I press X to glide kick, you bastard. Oh my god, you suck. Glide kick. Bam! Get the fuck out of here, son. Are you charging? <laughs> Sit the fuck down. So, you have to interrogate um, the green guys. You don't want to kill them. For obvious reasons. 
You wanna keep them for last if you can. Oh, got him. <clears throat> Tell me what you know. All right, I'll talk. Just don't hurt me. Good. Oh, oh, he said, "Don't hurt him, Batman." What the fuck? Holy shit! Headbutts kill, you know. <laughs> I mean, you seen Bruce Wayne's head before? Shit's huge. That sounds so wrong. So you can uh, interrogate those green guys for uh Scarecrow's men are guarding the antenna. I need to evaluate the threat and plan my attack. You can interrogate those green guys for uh Riddler trophy locations on your map. Use detective mode to identify five soldiers all armed. potential. If I alert them, they'll kill the hostage <clears throat> and need to reach a vantage point to draw them outside. Swing between a vantage point to quickly survey the environment. The fuck where? Oh. If I can separate them, they'll be easier to take down. Hold for the battering. This one? Yeah. What am I aiming for? Throw a battering to, to within earshot to alarm the enemies outside. Okay. Hey, you hear that? Someone's out there. You two, go take a look. The door stays <clears> locked. <throat> I'm taking no chances. Got it, boss. Okay. So what I want to do is actually get out of here and go into the vents. They can't see through vents. So I want to be careful. To not get spotted. Even if the bat does show his face, there's three of us. Scarecrow's men still have a hostage at the antenna. I should head back there before they do something they'll regret. Alright. I think I can do a silent takedown from up here. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Now we can go through Three here. more soldiers inside. They think they're safe if they stick together. Lucius, I've got a hostage situation. Three gunmen. I need to take them all out before they can react. Is it ready? Flexible plates over an MR fluid armor layer. You'll move faster, hit harder, and look scarier while doing so. Send it, Lucius. Now. Already airborne, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Damn, son. That upgrade, though. <clears throat> I want the Batwing. I want to fight the Batwing. Nice. So here we get to get an upgrade to our armor. I think we get bulletproof plating. Now I don't know if I if I change it into this, does it change my costume? I don't even know. Oh, maybe it updates my 52. That'd be sick. Damn, that's some thick ass plating. <clears throat> why do you need why do you need claws? You ain't Wolverine. Well, Mr. Wayne, let me walk you through it. The outer and inner layers of the bodysuit are made of a titanium dip tri weave. It's between those layers where things get interesting. Wayne Tech MR fluid hardens in response to impact. With this kind of shock absorption, you'll be able to put more force into your counterattacks. Mm. The liquid armor is more flexible than the fibers you're accustomed to as well. You can use that increased maneuverability to take out multiple foes in quick succession. Ooh. The suit's compatible with <clears> the Batmobile's <throat> electromagnetic eject mechanism too. Oh, now we can eject. Thing like a bullet from a rail gun. Sweet. So now we can eject out the Batmobile. The new grapnel launcher will pull you skyward just as fast. Don't worry, Mr. Wayne. That suit can take the G's. G-Force? Alright, so we got the, uh... How's it feel, suit upgrade. Mr. Wayne? I've activated <clears throat> the AR training program. Should you want to run diagnostics or just break it in? 
So we could do this. Call in the car and shoot for the sky. Learn how to work in unison with Wayne Tech's most powerful weapon. You know what? Let's do these. Uh, so we can get some Wayne Tech upgrade points. I never did this in my other playthrough. So why not? Let's try it. <clears throat> Drive as fast as you can to build up speed to eject and glide. Oh, where do I drive? It's all cut off. I guess I go this way. Ah. Oh! Steer while gliding. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> I'm like barely hitting. Oh, I'm dead. Let's restart this. I, pr I, I let go of the button by accident. It's, it's A that lets you glide. <clears throat> I always think it's right trigger that lets you glide, but it's A. I don't know why. Okay. Look at this bad boy. Damn! Bad man got some hops! Steer while gliding to control direction and pitch. So we should have enough that we don't have to steer. Oh god. Oh fuck. Batman. Please. Batman, please. I'm not confident yet. <clears throat> That was easy. So we got a Wayne, we got a you got a Wayne Tech point for that. That was easy. Kind of messed it up though. That was hard in the gliding sense. Uh, what is this? <clears throat> Moving close without being tempted to chain your takedowns is to do. That is pretty easy. We could do this. <clears throat> so fear takedown lets you take out people in quick succession. It's kind of like uh, I want to say. It's like um, the Splinter Cell equivalent of like marking people and taking them out. Um, if you if you get up close, you can do fear takedowns like this, and you can take down multiple people without uh, what's it called? You can take down multiple people without. Putting yourself in danger. So I think here we want to open this. Okay. So now we can go through here. Here, take down. One, two, three. Ooh. Ooh. Look like it hurt. Oh, this is easy. <clears throat> Pretty sure we can just like drop through here, right? <clears throat> it's pretty self-explanatory. You just look at the target you want to take out and then press X. It's pretty easy. Oh, this one this one might be harder. Moving close in the group up to three without being detected to use for your takedown. So I think I have to wait for them to pile up together. Um, actually, I have an idea. I just see, I saw a window of opportunity. Right here. No, we can't do a fear takedown? Hmm. Guess I had to start off with this guy then. <clears throat> So I'll wait for this guy's back to be, to be turned. <clears throat> there you go. Pretty easy. Fear multiple takedowns. Multi takedown complete. Sweet. So yeah, you get wing tag points for this. Holy crap, that's pretty good. I don't know if I want to do all these. I think I do. 
kind of which kind of still in tutorial. Become master of the sky with the grapnel. Test your aerial supremacy to fullest as you grapple, glide, and dive across the Gotham skyline. Right, let's try this. Simulation activated. <clears throat> Holy to dive. I don't want to dive. Don't tell me what to do. I don't want to dive. Glide and dive without touching the ground for 60 seconds. All right, that's not bad. Let's fly around here. 60 seconds, though, that's a long time. <clears throat> we'll just go around these big ass towers. It should be pretty easy. Let's dive. Okay, fly higher. Let's just go really high. Why not? 30 seconds. <clears throat> 20. Come on. So we have to do this to gain a wing tick point? Seems easy enough. I, probably, I can probably sustain this for a while. Like, I'm pretty sure I can just hold A and we'll be good. Yeah, I think we're good. Bam. <clears throat> nice. That was easy. So, there's one with guns, I've noticed. What's this one? Send enemies flying, leaving them begging for mercy. Use a new bat suit's increase defensive capabilities and unleash five successful throw counters. Okay. I forgot how to do throw counters, actually. <clears throat> Simulation Alright, that was easy. <clears throat> throw counters are pretty awesome. You just throw throw them into people. Alright, so we got more Wayne Tech points. Let's do this last one. Might as well. Strike from the shadows and leave no man standing. Hunt three armed enemies without uh, whose position are randomized each time the training program is run. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Three people, that's, that's a piece of cake. Speaking of cake, I want some. Like after this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some damn cake. So we can't get detected, right? Where's the third one? I see two. Oh, I see that. Okay. There he's over there. Oh, this guy's coming. <clears throat> oh, so my bad suit did change. Everybody stay sharp. Go. Okay, got this guy. I think there's a grate up here. That's true, yep. Oh, oh. They found me! Batman, hurry up! Dude. No, fuck this. Oh, dude, damn roof. Well. <clears throat> I think I failed it. Did I fail? I completed it? Okay. Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> I didn't why would he climb up? First of all. The dude died down here. Three gunmen, one hostage. Time to put this suit to the test. Alright, it's pretty simple. Just gotta go down this here. This suit is faster and more mobile. By getting close without being detected, <clears> I can <throat> get the jump on them, and in the panic, take down all three before they know what's hit them. Let's do it. <clears throat> Ooh, it's gotta hurt. Help me. Say please. Say please. Say please. Oh. I need to help the hostage before I activate the antenna. Is there a riddle? There's a riddle here. It says object. I said object obscured. What the hell. Okay, never mind. There is a riddle here. 
I'll come back. They said you were good, but I never saw anyone take down three armed guys like that. Unbelievable. You're safe now. I'll send someone to pick you up. Thank you. Hey, tell me you're gonna find Scarecrow. That son of a bitch needs to be stopped. Alright. Let's get this. <clears throat> Planet something big. Wild Oracle, I've attached the uplink to the microwave tower. Perfect. I made an anonymous microwave tower. AD. They're gonna send someone to pick up the hostage. Ugh. Come on, come on, connect. <clears throat> Love the suit, by the way. Okay, both towers are fully online. Time to find Scarecrow. Microwave tower. Does it make burritos? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Bad rain. Look at this shit. Look how crazy this is. He just I need to use both throws his thing to up. Identify the micro and radio wave frequencies across Gotham. <clears throat> if I can find both frequencies at the same location, I'll know where Scarecrow is manufacturing. Hell of an arm, Batman. Hell of an arm. Uh. Oh, okay. The radio and microwave frequencies point <clears throat> ace chemicals. That's where Scarecrow's producing the toxin. So, if you play the game, you know where to know where to Jim, look. I trace the fear toxin ace chemical. Look at this cache, though. Impossible. I've had a team there ever since the evacuation started, just like you asked. God. Crane must have bought them off. Or were that would hurt someone. That would have hurt someone in, if you were a human. Hold off until I get there, Jim. I'm on my way. All right, so we're gonna stop here, um, cause we're coming on 40 minutes. But I think Batman played Outfield back in the day. Who knows? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. We will see what the hell Scarecrow's up to, cause he is a douche. That's plenty lately. Anyways, I will see you guys for part three, and uh, I'll be, as usual, be posting all the videos in the playlist. The link will be in the description. So if you guys are looking for them or you're watching in the future. You ain't got to look too far. Click on the playlist, click play all, or click on the part that you missed. And then, well, continue watching the walkthrough. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.